Voters in the city of Flagstaff have decided the fate of a billion dollar development. NAZ Today's Matt Keenitz is in the studio with more. Thanks Jordan. Proposition 480 was the big topic of discussion this election season. Voters were to choose whether to allow Northern Arizona Healthcare or NAH to build a new hospital near Fort Tuthill, replacing the longtime facility downtown. The question was put on the ballot by a group of citizens upset over the city council's approval of the new hospital. In the end, this group managed to overturn the decision. <laughs> Cheers filled the room as the results of Prop 480 were announced. The public voted against the new hospital. A member of Flagstaff Community First says by voting no, the voters showed how passionate they are about Flagstaff. Our citizens here care about the environment. They care about the rule of law. They're not going to be bullied by outside developers. They're not going to be bullied by big businesses. They uh, love their city. This June, the Flagstaff City Council voted to approve a phase one zoning of NAH's new hospital. However, citizens quickly gathered signatures in order to bring the plan before voters. Flagstaff Vice Mayor Austin Aslan was against the new hospital, saying we can improve the one we already have. He says that he hopes to work with Northern Arizona Healthcare to do just that. We have a working, award-winning hospital in the center of town, and it's been there for, gener for, for decades, if not generations. We need to take the blinders off and look at the possibilities of how to modernize in place. Prop 480 brought up concerns about the current hospital being too small and crowded. Rick Maple with Flagstaff Community First said the issue isn't that there aren't enough beds for patients. They don't need more beds, they need more staff, and they need to treat their staff well so that they'll stay. And that's the problem. We have a bad administration that doesn't care about their true employee. Many of the residents in Flagstaff at the event were disappointed with the city council and how they handled the building of the new hospital. Stefan Summer says they did not take the climate into consideration. The city's goal is to be net zero emissions by 2030 and that any new development proposal has to help the city reach that goal. In making their decision to approve this almost billion dollar development, the city council totally ignored our regional plan. Northern Arizona Healthcare says they are disappointed with the vote. In a statement released last night, they say, we are evaluating alternative locations for a new hospital. It is imperative that we expand as FMC already is out of space for adult patients many days. Matt Keenitz, NAC Today.